AWS AppSync is an enterprise-level, fully managed GraphQL service with real-time data synchronization and offline programming features. Let's unpack this. Fully managed GraphQL service means you'll provide the configuration, like the schema and resolvers, and AWS will manage the GraphQL server process and the underlying infrastructure. Real-time data synchronization just means that in addition to supporting queries and mutations, AppSync also supports GraphQL subscriptions. Offline programming features means that the client libraries for web and mobile can cache GraphQL responses and let users perform operations while offline that'll all be synced up when they go back online. So why would you want to use AppSync? One use case, which the AppSync marketing is oriented toward, is the client-centric backend as a service. And in this way, AppSync is comparable to Firebase or other backend as a service providers. What's interesting about AppSync, though, is that it also offers a standalone middle layer as a service. So maybe you've decided that you want to put GraphQL in between your clients and your backends. But now you've introduced a single point of failure, and it needs to be performant and super reliable. And somebody's got to be on the hook for operating this GraphQL server and dealing with it when it blows up in the middle of the night. And it'd be kind of nice if that somebody was AWS instead of you. Let's talk more about the GraphQL service itself. AppSync supports several backend data sources, such as DynamoDB, Elasticsearch, Lambda Functions, RDS, and any HTTP endpoint that's on the public internet and whose CA is recognized by AppSync. The mechanism used to express the translation between backend data sources and GraphQL is resolver mapping templates. Resolver mapping templates are written in a templating language called VTL. If you need to do something that's too complex to express in VTL, you could always use a Lambda function as the backend, but then you'll also be dealing with cold starts and all that jazz. There are a handful of ways you can control access to your AppSync API, and you can ship metrics and logs to CloudWatch. There's a whole bunch of tooling for and related to AppSync. It's mostly around the backend as a service use case. The marketing materials and docs seem to suggest that we should build and iterate on the GraphQL API within the AWS console, but I have to highly recommend ignoring this advice and instead using an infrastructure as code tool like Terraform or CloudFormation, unless your idea of a good time is hanging out in the AWS console. The pricing is fairly straightforward. You pay for what you use and it's pretty easy to understand. And there are of course some limits to be aware of. And that's what the hell AWS AppSync is.